that pinkish color is uh, what happens when it's too cold for the paint. Let's get this panel disconnected. I have to remember where all of these wires go because I have to feed them into those two tubes into the box. Will I forget? I'm going to be taking photographs of the back of it. And hopefully I will remember where all of this goes. And if not, boy am I in trouble. It doesn't look too complicated. Oh, this is going to be easier than I thought. I only have to disconnect the wires going to the engine. And they're all numbered. Now that's better. The nuts and bolts on this are a bit messed up, so I'm going to cut them off. Isn't it wonderful that my engineering is in keeping with the engineering of the boat? That's not a rectangle. That's something else. Okay, now I need to get rid of these support. Yeah, so I'm just going to grind all that away. Oh my god, what an ordeal to get a angle grinder in there. Yeah. I've made a major miscalculation. I say major, I mean, it's only steel, it can be fixed. But um, this doesn't come down far enough for the window to open. So this means I have to put the window higher so that it opens. Oh well. Let's carry on. I have to weld a piece of steel in there and I have to return that to a curb, which is actually going to be relatively easy. I'll just uh, weld that back in. Bolts are on the way, but I've temporarily just bolted it in and I've put the glass on. The hinge has been taken out, uh, but it's been held by the clasps. So I am amazed that we've managed to get this far. Am I surprised that I made mistakes? Nope. There's the weld patch. I need to clean all of that. I've worked since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. It is now five o'clock and I have done that without any break. 10 till five. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Oh, you're little. Okay, this is another day, and today we're gonna clean up this mess here. Um, I need to weld the inside of the box, and I need to weld what I did here and tidy up this area. I also discovered that when I place these bolts in um, the window is actually slightly off. That bolt is higher than that and the window needs to turn that way. Um, so I need to take this out, weld up those holes and uh, just get all of this tidied up and ground down, make it nice and neat and then uh, pop in all the bolts and get it sealed with Sikaflex.
when I bring my latch with the window down, uh, it hits the corner of my box here. So I cut the corner of the box away. It's dead and short. And I've now got a new piece of steel which I will weld in, creating that. And then my latch will be able to sit down. I've also got little bits of metal stuck in there, so they will be welded and close that off. All done, flush. Um, let's see what it looks like when it's painted. I'm really struggling to get this right, but uh, I've started to... I'm trying to get the porthole to line up, so I'm using this post and using a sight now and you cannot tell because there's so many angles but lining it up I can see that it's not right These are the washers, and these come from these guys, AQ. There's the bolt in the hand, so they're huge. It's a M16 stainless steel. They're marine grade, so there's a washer, and then in the box we have a nut as well. And uh, yeah, so the reason I got these, these cost £150 for the set. Um, and these, uh, why did I get these? Oh yeah, uh, because they're inert and they are this particular stainless steel. As you can see, actually there it is, written there, A4. Um, it won't react with the bronze. For example, if I used this, if I use this, this is a carbon steel galvanized with zinc. The zinc will react with the bronze. So galvanized is not a good idea. I mean, you have to have water for it to react, but um, obviously it being a boat. Bronze and stainless steel are a good match. Bronze and bronze is a good match, but bronze is way too expensive. And in fact, actually, I couldn't find a supplier of M16 bronze bolts in the country. I did find a supplier in India. I can paint the outside white and they'll just disappear and not be seen. It's getting to the dizzy heights of 14 degrees Celsius here. Woo! So, um, as you see, we've got lots of grease and oil from when I did the drilling. Um, all of that needs to be just cleaned up and then painted. And then I will, uh, well, hopefully it'll be dry by this afternoon and then I can sycoflex the whole thing in. And then that will be it. Done. I'll need that and that. This can of degreaser has been in the boat since I bought it. I don't know what this is really. waiting for the paint behind me to dry and then I'll set in the porthole. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get this side ready uh, for its porthole. The first thing I need to do is to get rid of that upright and I have to make that disappear. Using this can get a bit problematic because I need to cut into this and it takes a while and a bit of bashing to get it out. This is my big angle grinder.
location of this so that I can match it here. And this is my paper template. It's taken a huge amount of time to actually get this right. And one of the things I discovered is that this boat is not symmetrical. So this panel here, from the door to the end, it's one meter across. If we take it from the same height on this side, I don't have to be accurate because it's so way off. And we measure again. Measure again. We're way out. That is not the same as that. So what I've done, and I've made an executive decision at this point, to measure it across there, and to measure it there. And as long as these are the same, which they are now, and that one across in relationship to the door they will look identical they'll be the right height they'll be the same height and they will be uh, the same distance away from the door so at least it'll look symmetrical from that perspective but that will be thinner that will be thicker but the other thing is, I get to keep my Chris Cable 8 ton sign, which is a joke. Um, the boat is not 8 tons. It was to save money on mooring fees. I'm going to cut it ever so slightly smaller. Um, that way I can angle grind it to make it bigger. But if I make it too big, oi! Right, I'm going to uh, drill four holes um, to secure it for the night. that door, you fucking idiot. <laughs>